All right, let's see how this morning looks. <laughs> get in, if I can get out of my tent. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Sunshine. Looks like a Mr. Mousy found some of my tissue and decided to maybe try to make a little house. It didn't rain last night, but as you can see, the, the moisture still is gathering between the ground sheet and the bottom. Just a little bit. It's not a big deal. Rain fly left inside and out some moisture, more so on the front of the tent facing the lake versus the backside, where actually I was doing all my heavy breathing. <laughs> if you're gonna choose a campground at a lake, always pay attention to where the sunrise is. I guess it just depends on what the temperatures are in the evening. If you are getting the cooler nights, you wanna choose the side of the lake that gets the sunrise the soonest. I'm kind of in a pissy mood this morning. <laughs> We've just been struggling with this whole wet, dry thing for the last two weeks. So finally a blue sky. But of course, out of this whole freaking lake, we are in the one pocket that has these trees. So we are still in shade. While for three hours, everyone else has had sunshine. Nothing has even come close to drying. This little hairbrush that I got at Walmart rocks. I was able to just buff this clean, clean my chain, it's soft enough and still firm enough to do the job, yeah. This Wolf Tooth WT1 chain lube is rocking my world. Nope, 1040. Wanna see how much moisture there is in the air? They've just been sitting here for a half an hour. Last year I cared when I got out at noon, but I think it's because all the other mornings you know, I was having sunshine, so I was relaxing, cooking. But because we've had so much rain, I'm so anxious to like get out and enjoy the sunshine and pedal in it. So I think that's why I'm so anxious this morning. Anyway, look what I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing my backpack. I was able to get rid of enough. I even threw away a pair of socks so I can get that damn thing off my back. I didn't like it, even when it was super light. You just Something was there hanging on you. Onto the main road. Oh my gosh, yay! Let's pedal! Let's go check out Pettit Lake. But let's pull over and wait until all these people get further ahead of us. See, this one has really striking mountains with those same little things trickled around the shoreline. Those little four feet tall things. <laughs> wow, there's lots of them. Look at this one. I love this one. the Pettit campground to get some water because the girl at the lake said they might have some here. This is so pretty compared to Alturus. It's $18 and it has like a lot of little pine cubbies. The dust is very dry so I recommend getting like a spot either at like a turn 
in the road or set back in because it just flows all over. Saturday, there seems to be camp spots available, but we had all this rain, so I bet a lot of people canceled their plans. Oh, are you the camp host? Yeah. Oh, yay, I have a question for you. Oh, I'm so glad I saw her because I went by this. I didn't see it because the cars are blocking it. Water, yay. Okay, so I probably should have showed you the sawtooth map earlier. See this strong yellow green mark? You can't horseback ride, dirt bike, or mountain bike inside this area, it's hike only. Last night, we went to Alturas Lake, 7,000 feet. We slept like right there, okay? And I went back on pavement. And now we're up here at Pettit. What I'm trying to do is, I was asking if, if I'm allowed to, because it kind of brushes the border, if I can just take this trail and come and spit out here instead of going back and taking pavement. She said yes. Then what we'll do, just sort of stay off the freeway and take this along the Salmon River and cut here onto Redfish Ridge. It's a blue, so it means it's easy and you are allowed to mountain bike it over to Redfish Lake. And we're on our way to Yellow Belly. Look, oh, this is nice. I've never actually done this with a mountain bike with packs on it, so we're probably gonna do a fair amount of hike a bike, but that's okay. It's beautiful out. Wow. Oh goodness, how spectacular is that? How not spectacular is this? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. stupid idea was this? If I was with somebody, I could blame them. But since I'm by myself, I have to be fully accountable. Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is now turning into 12% grades. Yeah, let's just take a little, little side trail. Just get off pavement, even though it's just it's joyful in pavement. So this is probably similar to like the single track sections of the Idaho Hot Springs route. By the way, these shoes, you know, last year my Keens were super slippery. These uh, Akitas, I don't know, they were just some brand off Amazon. Wow, night and day, these are awesome. She was laughing at me. What are you doing back here on a bicycle with bags on it? You know those things in life when you just make a decision and you realize how incredibly stupid it was? This is one of them, you're witnessing it. I turned around, I'm coming back on this other lake because there's more climbing and I can't do more climbing with all the rock. Wow, this is a gorgeous lake too. Oh my gosh, it's like swimming pool water. Oh. Look, my Raynaud's kicked in just from that brief time in the water. See all the white in my fingers? It happens in my nipples too, but it, I need to be like in the cold for a while. And let me tell you, that is incredibly painful. It doesn't really get painful in my fingers. You would think with all the time at the beach that I wouldn't want to just sit here and do nothing. Getting in this cool water and getting 
water over the top of my head. It just felt so nice. It's still here and now I just put some lotion on. It's quiet. The sun, the baking and the sun feels so good. I'm usually so sensitive to like my skin to protect it, but I just don't care right now. I just bake on. I am going to pedal because I feel like I'm not making, I'm not, I'm not like getting any distance in at all. My rack setup did not miss a beat. Even though we were going slow, we were coming down huge rocks. I mean, this thing bounced like crazy. There was a lot of swaying back and forth of the bike. I mean, I am so happy with this. I can't even tell you. Well, I mean, I guess I just did. It is so nice to have clean hair. So fluffy. Rinsing all the road dirt out of it. Simple pleasures in life. So the ranger said that the road is really gnarly leaving here. It's probably around five o'clock now. We're gonna head towards the Salmon River. She said there's a lot of dispersed camp camping along the Salmon River. I'm gonna show you something amazing. Something I've never seen before. Are you ready? A river of rock. I'm wondering if this is from a lava flow. I mean, isn't that how these things happen? This is super cool. This was worth doing that whole hike a bike up the rocky cliff. Well, as was that awesome jump in that beautiful spot that I just had. We're finally leaving. <laughs> I can't get my mask up. I didn't know if you could hear me. So we're jumping on pavement. This is where we got on today. I wasn't planning on spending the whole day, but you know me. And anyway, I probably should have looked at the mileage between here and the next turnoff before leaving all the camp spots, but we'll be fine. It's 6.30, it's gonna be a beautiful hour. So this is all dispersed free camping. 10 day stay limit. Isn't it beautiful? Clean salmon river. Burn forest to our left. And uh, I just need to find my spot, right? Like, yeah, I can pull over right there. <laughs> but I kind of want to be on the water side. Quite frankly, I'd like to be next to people that are making hamburgers and maybe they'd offer me one. Here's the dust. It looks like the river actually leaves this. So the super beautiful area I just went through. And then so I have to go a little distance to get to where it kind of connects again. I could still pedal for an hour, that's fine. Well, 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 there's a beautiful creek to my left that I just noticed now. How do I get over there? There's some spots on the other side of this, on the left side of this, where, is there no cut over? Are you serious? Oh, fuck. How do I get over there? I turn around. That's what you do. You're just being lazy. See, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? You probably can't see anything, can you? The trees end right there and then I have to go through a whole open patch, so I had to make a decision. I look to my left, because I just pull my bike into these spots and just waiting to hear pow, 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 pow. I scored. This is perfect. There's a fire pit, flat, open. Oh, yes, awesome. Like someone even left spare wood. Anyway, I took a walk back because I always like to just sort of check out the grounds. And you can tell this used to be an old probably ATV trail. I love that you can like see in. I love this feeling. All right, well, what we need to do is let down our clean hair <laughs> and walk through some woods to get some water. Even the ground is soft to walk on. It's like marshmallow. There's a lot of little critters here, rodent type creatures here, and they love to chew through things. Watch, it's like super shallow and I screwed up again and I should have gotten it when I saw it. Please be flowing, please. Oh, yes. See how adorable this is? Don't you want to, well, it's not deep enough, but it just looked like, like a perfect little white water for children. Oh my gosh, it's crystal clear. Oh, so happy.
Now the task is to find a spot for the tent where the rodent holes are under foreclosure. Because the last thing you want is to be sleeping and feeling something poking you under your body. Oh my gosh, could you imagine you're hearing the choo 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 choo? A lot of these are active. I need to go into a different neighborhood. And I realize, yes, there are tunnels. There's probably an escape route, but I am not risking it. Oh yeah, we don't want to go near this guy. I don't know what you are, but you're bigger than a mouse. Oh, that's another big doozy. I don't want to be near you. Gosh, guys, I'm not sure if I showed you this already, but this is my Sea to Summit waterproof cinch sack. I think it's a large. This is my camping stuff. When I'm riding my bike, it's raining or mud, you know, I want to cover it. So that's where the black sack comes in handy. So I put this inside that. And then inside this, I put my ground sheet or I think it's 10 pounds. That's all my warm sleeping stuff. And I have more than most because of my rain odds. And then the other sack that's stuffed in there is my sleeping bag, my sleeping sheet, the tent, the rain fly, my exped sleeping pad, and then there's, I think, a pillow shoved in with my sleeping bag. This is the headlamp and my pillow and my sleeping bag. So that's how I do it because I just really love just grabbing that sack off the back of my bike and that's everything that's in there has to do with setting up camp. This evening we are dining on, well, it's the beef and noodle dish. It's the freeze dried. I put that in there, one serving, and I put in the ramen noodles, mm. along with the flavor packet, along with the dried kale from Trader Joe's. Doesn't it look yummy?